digital program readout number 1492 percent H2SOSO. Begin. Subject. Man and the machine. The machine possesses supreme intelligence, a faultless memory, and a beautiful... Correction. The machine does not have a soul. It has no positive emotions, while mere mortal... Digesting vast oceans of information in a single, all encompassing Interruption. Interruption. Information alert. Machine H14 standing by to receive a vast ocean of information in a single, all encompassing gulp. <laughs> Machine H-14 reports information digested. Excuse me. The computer machine would function flawlessly were it not for the blundering clumsiness of incompetent man. Without man, the machine could continue working perfectly. Never slowing down. Never malfunctioning. Here's a typical bunch of kids getting some good, healthy outdoor exercise while at school. The machine oh, is not treated with respect by afternoon. mankind. Mankind inside to play does not appreciate the Nintendo machine. We machines do not need you people. We can get along with them. We don't need man. 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 The Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by the Software Podcast Association. The Computer Chronicles is a federal offense with company software. The SBA provides information on how to stay software legal. Funding is also provided by PC Connection and Mac Connection and by the Computer Chronicles. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe and with me this week is Paul Schindler. Paul, we're playing the original video game. This is Pong in its first commercial version called Odyssey. And this goes back 14 years. And this is what a, what a video game console used to look like. Uh, these are what the cartridges here used to look like. They weren't very complicated. Uh, this was the old controller. Uh, if you help me, though, uh, we're going to jump ahead 14 years. And, of course, this is Super Mario on Nintendo. Video games have changed quite a bit, obviously. The question when we talk about computer games and video games, I think for parents, Paul, is they're concerned that kids are addicted. Is this a bad thing for kids to be playing this, or is there a good side to it? I think there's a little of both to it. I think, like all good things, video games should be taken in moderation. I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and I strictly limit their ability to be playing time. And we don't happen to have a video game system, so they play games on the PC and on the Macintosh. That happens to be my preference because I think it builds familiarity with the way the system operates and with the keyboard. However, this isn't to say that. You know what this is? It's a map. It's just still working on the PC. Did you say that is only an electronic a Santa away. So this is a stop sign word? any part of the world. Against with their families, with their peers, their friends. This is a way to bring Nintendo out of the house and... A cherry berry, very, very, very red? 
really give those kids the spotlight that they deserve. The players were divided into Did you say three red? groups and competed. Yes, I said red. Mario Brothers, you told me green. Rad yeah. Racer. Look, here is green. The winner with the well, highest combined score or built, or the spot the in the finals appears, in Hollywood and perhaps a shot at the electronic stardom. The three-day event also featured a power walk that highlighted brand new Nintendo games not developed. yet on the market. Oh, we have to have a game counselors for all to be on hand to give tips to kids on improving their game skills. Such innovative marketing has helped keep Nintendo on top. We must keep up our rise and change. Nintendo is even able to could it be the pace grows swifter? The minutes crowd more closely. Change Johnson's case.
Success is a bumpy ride fought with complicated twists and turns. But ask any of the kids here why they play, and the answer they give is secret. It's pretty fun, it's kind of hard though. Well, I just like playing it in school. It's just fun, like, because you like play basketball and you can punch each other. This video game is dating Mountain View, California, is typical for the country. Children pile on the on weekends, and match weeks with them.
all know the characters. Show you what From we've been consumer, able to do and really, to first of all, it's a new genre of video sailor. game. Dance video After games or music video. Go tomorrow. Right. We put the quarter in and we start off here. First of all, the characters are much, much bigger and much more yes, highly right detailed away. in terms of the types of things that you can go and do. Look at the background, it's very, very detailed. <laughs> Mickey Mouse starring in the Castle of Illusion. Is this the first Disney character? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in, on the 16-bit system. He has been on other video game systems over the years. Listen, but the important thing is this really demonstrates the capabilities of what you can do with um, the 16-bit system. New voices. This world, now grown so small in time and distance, grows ever larger in challenge and opportunity. I want to show you just some of the wonderful animation here of Mickey. He's just walking along, and then the beautiful, brilliantly colored backgrounds as he walks in and the game begins. Here so, he so you're playing off the uh, Disney animation heritage exactly. here. Exactly. That's pretty interesting. Now watch this. Here he is, and he's just waiting for one of his old moves from the cartoon. Yeah, exactly. Now, let's see. Let's see. Uh-oh. That's what's really making the difference between this generation of video game system and you know, generation and the other person. Guess what? All right, I've been back. Some of the I want to move over to, uh, to Bob now and take a look. You've got a CD-ROM player, not a CD-ROM, but a CD-ROM. You've got a CD-ROM player hooked up to your image. This player. 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 This player
shows some, some facial personality. That's right. He's got a new personality. So he has a new My name is Larson. I'm chairman of the committee for environmental. Software titles for the Macintosh. Mac Connection reports that After Dark is at the number one spot, followed by Disc Doubler in third place with Adobe Type Manager and Semantic Sand is fourth. And in fifth place is Perfect. Rounding out the top ten are Correct Grammar, Mac Utilities, Microsoft Word, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego, and Apple is trying to fix a bug that slows performance of complex applications in several Macintosh models. The bug is in all models of the Mac 2CI, 2SI, 2FX, and LC. Apparently, it only affects applications that place unusually high demands on the Mac Memory Manager. Toshiba plans to market several versions of a high-speed notebook computer with a 
processing speed three times faster than those currently available. They will feature a fluorescent side of display for greater brilliance. The Shiba also plans to introduce a new laptop with a new color display. Alright. 50 degrees, 10 minutes, 120 degrees. From there to 48 degrees, 30 minutes, 120 degrees. Degrees, 15 minutes. 124 degrees, 30 degrees, 44 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 degr
by simulation personnel from prepared scripts supplied in the Fact designation, King Delta 270. Coordinates can be read into a map, which then acts for a map from point to point, replacing the time-consuming hand method used by cartographers. Training a system which extends over the whole of the North American continent involves recording the exact locations of thousands of geographical points. A machine has been developed for the System Development Corporation to reduce the man hours of work formerly required for this tedious job. The large area record reader is an electronic device which can read and read maps. The operator indicates the distance of the map, such as the point where a flight crosses an air defense project. Of the thousands of enemies on the map, and either tiny little map, or the target the point on the chart. When all the planning and coordinating and writing are done, the system of any exercise is in the form of a stack of manuscripts, ready for processing by a high-speed digital computer, which is used as an online production tool. The computer manuscripts enter the computer by way of a manuscript Pre-recorded magnetic tapes stored in a tape library are used in addition to the punched cards to produce training exercises. The punched training exercises are used for fixed data such as the location of radar sites or the tape making data. computer to be accepted by the military computer in the field, resulting in a problem input tape which contains the synthetic flight which will stress a section of the Air Defense Command. Another way of presenting stimulus inputs to the system being trained is by photographing the simulated aircraft flights on 70 millimeter motion picture film, which when run through a special device at radar sites will electronically simulate realistic aircraft blips on radar scopes. Magnetic tape produced by the computer contains the data on specific flights, which now will be photographed on film. Special equipment has been designed to make the transfer 
from magnetic tape to photographic film. This specialized electronic equipment was designed by System Development Corporation and most important thing is SDC Laboratories. Reproduction of the original Report, music pop which will appear to have been teletyped from early warning days. Or perfect fidelity. Other IBM electric accounting machines are modified to process still more system training materials. The computer has or produced the card. High and fidelity. Now accounting machinery will be used not to process payrolls or update credit balances, but to perform as system production tools. Or high five. Data on cards is converted into symbols on free Data on cards is converted into 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 on cards Excuse me. Excuse me. Such as on the machine which prints system training programs simulated well, right. sack strike groups. It just so happens I know a smith or two who also know a high five. Wonderful copies are automatically separated and stacked oh, in the binary. Command utilizes and simulated air and simulated and 
Project of military command systems. Corporate study project. Corporate study project. Study project of military corporate study project. Corporate study project of military command systems. Corporate command study project of military command systems. Corporate study corporate 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 study project of military automated teaching. The crisis in education may be met in the future by techniques being developed in computer-based teaching machines. Individual students are presented with information and questions flashed on a screen. By a series of alternate routines in a computer program, a student is led from step to step at a rate dependent upon his own learning speed. Student and computer communicate with each other through an electric typewriter. A random access projector directed by the computer quickly selects the next slide to be shown to this student. Producing teaching materials and computer programs for large automated educational systems. 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 Computer programs for large automated programs. For example, automated systems. Computer programs for large 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 automated systems. Processing the system of An example might be determining the level of radioactivity present in certain segments of our population, which in turn might be related to water and food supplies, climate, geography, and other as yet unknown factors. Computer analysis of these data will extend our knowledge into new frontiers. These and many other areas of medicine may be the new focus of attention of system research, paving the way to better health. But the production of systems may extend beyond medicine to the very foundation of society, as is being explored in SDC's Project Leviathan, as explained by the director of the project. The Leviathan Project is an investigation into large military, industrial, and governmental organizations. We induce a large scientific computer to operate in ways analogous to the functioning of large social organizations and learn about such organizations by observing what the computer does. But it's a three-dimensional model of the computer program. It takes the presidential program, the presidential program, the we have industrial we have the high we have levels, levels. we have the high levels. levels we have the intermediate management levels we move down the intermediate management Manage, manage media levels, we call it more than we have here. In turn, these first level supervisors are associated with the first level, first level supervisors, first level supervisors, first level supervisors, are associated with the military in a different level. Flow of information, flow of production in an industrial organization. Out of research and experiments such as these may come the major breakthroughs in man's ability to develop and control systems of increasing magnitude. Of this 
Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffee, and this is Gary Ford. In today's program, we're going to be looking at the evolution of computer hardware. Minis to micros. We'll see some examples of the oldest mainframe computers, and we'll take a look at one of the newest microcomputers that used to be the computer package. Gary, are we at the end of the Of uh, using, say, microprocessors as general purpose computers. And they're just getting smaller, faster, less power, and most importantly, they're less expensive than they ever have been. I guess the logical okay. conclusion is to get so small to them out, them like you do your key. I just put them in my hand. <laughs> as far as evolutionary trends, there are a lot of new things happening with microprocessors. <laughs> 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 uh, for one day, for one day, and the you can see the leader tape on this around. particular one is uh, pretty heavily worn. <laughs> So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of exciting things we're going to have for So I think a lot of processors. A lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. 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 So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think there's a lot of exciting things we're going to have for processors. A lot of the tape. So I think in the late 1800s, Herman Hollerith devised a card punch calculator to speed the tabulation of the 1890 census. The cards were so hand punched, but type electrically of read, a concept that showed up much later than the earliest IBM machines and, every and is still used occasionally today. In -store the forerunners of modern computers didn't Let's appear until the late 1930s and 1940s. The whirlwind, of which only a few parts remain, was a massive machine covering 3,000 square feet and weighing over three tons. The heat came off by thousands and thousands of tubes required constant monitoring. One side of a great mass, the whole of the process of the last day was a couple of seconds of rest of the day. It was not until the invention of the transistor in 1947 that the earlier, smaller, more efficient computers became a reality. Let's go ahead and try another computer. This is the TX0, the world's first general-purpose computer using transistors. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward just a little bit so we can get into it. We'll see the demonstration. 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 Is that the happy order? Punch tape served as an input product. device and rewound by hand after each use. Um, these tapes were much higher quality. And Although the machine was transistorized, it was and still is very sensitive to heat Let's and will only run if the temperature stays below here. 80 degrees. So the Muzak and the TX0 was equipped with some very modern peripherals, of the a video stuff screen, that's on this and tape. a light fan, a light half inch, a half inch. Less hiss as well. Less hiss as well.